Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Spindrift. So I'm here to see if it's actually worth the hype for the price tag because it is more expensive than just a regular LaCroix or bubbly water. I want to say these are twice as expensive. An eight pack for $6. So not quite twice the price, but just about, definitely more expensive. So my hopes are that it is way better than the other sparkling waters because sparkling waters, even the fruit flavors can be a little bland at times. So let's get right into this review. All right, so for this, I will be testing out seven different flavors of Spindrift, three of the lemonade flavors and four of the regular sparkling water flavors. Um, I think that the heightened price tag is because like if you look at the ingredients list on these, it is made with all natural fruit flavors compared to like a LaCroix. Okay, I only had one left. I'm glad I had this. So LaCroix ingredients list says only carbonated water naturally essenced. I don't really know what that means to be honest with you. I think that the appeal maybe of the Spindrift is that they actually have fruit juices added to give them a little extra oomph, but they're still low sugar and all of them are zero added sugars. The sugar is just natural from the fruit juices. So let's get into the taste test. So I will start off by trying the regular Spindrift and then get into the lemonades after that. First things first, raspberry lime. It's good. You definitely taste the fruit flavors a lot more in these compared to any of the other sparkling waters I get, um, which are typically just like naturally essenced, like a really small hint of flavor. This one, you can actually tell that it has like fruit juices included. It's definitely not sweet. It's like almost a little bit sour, but not too sour, but it definitely tastes like raspberry lime. Like I will give it that. It tastes exactly like what you'd expect it. I really like that. It's just fresh tasting, really refreshing. Like I can see drinking this by the pool. I'm gonna save my ratings for the end and try them all again, but that one's good. I like that. Let's try grapefruit. Not too excited about this one. I'm typically not a big, whoop, grapefruit fan in like White Claws and things like that. That's typically my least favorite flavor. So I like the actual fruit, but I don't usually like it in sparkling drinks or juices, that type of thing. I feel like that's actually pretty good. It's sour for sure. Like it tastes like grapefruit juice. I like that. Maybe it's just because I have been drinking or not drinking, eating grapefruit a lot lately. So I'm used to the like sour flavor, but that tastes really good. It's like refreshing. It's definitely more sour. It leaves a weird taste in your mouth though. Like after eating like grapefruit or oranges, like it definitely leaves a weird citrusy taste in your mouth. But I like that. If you like grapefruit, like you're gonna like this. It's way better than like a grapefruit white claw, which I feel like doesn't taste that natural for whatever reason. I don't know if it is or isn't, but this tastes exactly like just like watered down grape juice. Grapefruit juice, sorry. All right, let's try lemon. Also, don't worry, I'm going to drink all of these. I'm just gonna leave them in the fridge after I do this taste test and just drink them throughout the rest of the day. So none of this is going to waste. I'm not spending $6 on an eight pack of sparkling water and then wasting any of it. Absolutely not. All right, lemon, I have a good feeling about. I typically, like I said, get like a lemon or lime sparkling water when I normally get LaCroix or bubbly. So hopefully this one's good. Cheers. That's exactly what I expected. It just tastes like if you've ever made water and squeezed an actual lemon in it, it tastes exactly like that. So very refreshing. Um, nice and fruity, a little bit sour, but not nearly as sour as the grapefruit one. Uh, yeah, the ingredients in this are very simple. Carbonated water, lemon juice, that's it. All right, I don't have any complaints so far. These are all really good, really refreshing, and really like the perfect amount of fruity, as opposed to just like a hint. You can actually taste the fruit and it's really good. All right, where's the last non-lemonade? Here we go. All right, orange mango, let's see how you are. So this is made of orange juice, mango puree. Okay, so this is made of orange juice, mango puree, and citric acid. This one's okay. This is actually my least favorite so far. It's still good. I feel like the flavors are a little more subtle than the rest of the ones that I tried. I just feel like you barely taste the mango. Like you just more so taste like a little bit of orange flavor 
and that's really it with like a little little hint of mango on to the lemonades the lemonades i was definitely the most excited to try out of these so we have strawberry lemonade which sounds great lemon limeade and pink lemonade which also sounds phenomenal i'm gonna start with the pink lemonade because that just sounds really good cheers Whew. that's definitely more flavorful than the regular ones this has a bunch in it it has sweet cherry juice lime juice raspberry juice and lemon juice, uh, but it's like unsweet lemonade. So there's only one gram of sugar in here. So typically if I have lemonade, like I would expect it to be sweet. So you kind of have to go into this with the idea that it's unsweetened, not sweet lemonade. Like if you really wanted to, I'm sure you could add a sweetener of some sort to it, but I think it tastes good just like this. It does, it does taste fairly like similar to like a pink lemonade, just not, not sweet. I don't know how they did that. That's good. I feel like I could sit and drink this whole thing right now, but I won't because I have more to try and I don't want to have to pee before I finish these. So let's move along. Let me try strawberry lemonade. I feel like that would be more similar to pink lemonade. So I want to get those back to back. Ooh. Okay, this is the first one that I don't like, like at all. This has strawberry puree, lime juice, and lemon juice. I really don't, I don't know what it is about that. It just like, I think the strawberry flavor tastes nasty. You know, I keep trying it hoping it'll get better. I eat strawberries all the time, so I like know what to expect with the flavor and I just don't think it tastes like that. I don't think it tastes like strawberry or lemonade really, even though it's literally made of strawberry juice and lemon juice and lime juice, so. I don't know, not a fan of this one. Lemon Limeade is my last one to try. Ooh, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, it's literally just lime juice and lemon juice. That's very refreshing. It just tastes like if you have a water and put like a good amount of lemon and lime juice in it, but it's not overpowering still somehow. So I really like this one. This is super refreshing, probably one of my favorites. All right, I'm gonna go back through all these flavors and give my ratings and pick which are the best and worst ones. So go in order that I did before, raspberry lime. That's so good. I really like this one. I'm glad I started off with this one. I really don't have anything bad to say about this one. If you like raspberry flavor and you like lime, you're going to love this. It literally just tastes like raspberry and lime juice. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. The only thing that I'm like even knocking off a point for is that I like the lemonade ones better. So I'll get to that when I get to those ones, but yeah, this one's very fruity, very refreshing, very refreshing. Love it. Orange mango. This one's just more subtle. Um, it still tastes good, but I'm not as like excited about it. Like I don't think I would grab for it as much. I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10. It still tastes good. It's just like not enough for me, I guess, flavor wise. Grapefruit. Grapefruit's good. If you like grapefruit juice, you're gonna like this. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. It tastes really good, but you just definitely need to like really like natural like grapefruit flavoring. Lemon. Lemon's really good. It's just refreshing. That's all I can say about it. It's like the perfect amount of lemon if you were to make your own lemon water. That one's really good. I have nothing to say, bad to say about this one either. Um, I'm gonna give it also a nine out of 10. Um, the only thing I'm really knocking off a point for is that like I feel like you could easily make this on your own just squeezing lemon into plain sparkling water. So, all right, on to the lemonade. So lemon limeade, I remember I loved this one. That's good. This one's where it's at. It's definitely sour. So if you don't like sour-ish beverages, you're not gonna like this, but I absolutely love it. I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10. I think I could drink this every day. It's like the perfect amount of flavoring. It does taste like lemonade. Like there's enough lemon in it that it does taste like a lemon limeade, just unsweet version. I love it. Strawberry lemonade. This one is just nasty. I don't know what went wrong, well, <laughs> what went wrong with this. I don't know what went wrong with this, but I do not like this one at all. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to get through the can. I don't know what it is. I just, I do not think it tastes like strawberry lemonade at all. I think that the flavors are really weird and just, I hate it. I'm giving this one a zero out of 10. 
<laughs> I will probably never drink it again. Um, if you tried it and you like it, like, go ahead and let me know in the comments, because maybe I just have a really bad, like, aversion to this for some reason, but I think this one is absolutely gross. Pink lemonade. This one's amazing. I actually, <laughs> I already gave the lemon, uh, limeade a 10 out of 10, but I'm giving this one an 11 out of 10 because I like it more than that. It's, this is my favorite one by far. It's so good. It's like just enough sour, super fruity, super refreshing. The pink lemonade is where it's at. It's so good. Comparing LaCroix or like a bubbly water versus Spindrift, I would say Spindrift is definitely better. I kind of see the hype now, why everyone is always talking about these. Is it worth the money? That's a little harder to answer. I feel a little weird spending $6 on an eight pack of sparkling waters, but at the same time, these are so refreshing and you can just tell they're actually made with real fruit, which obviously would increase the price. So I'd say if you're looking for a really good sparkling water that you're gonna actually want to drink, it's worth the price, honestly. Um, at the same time, like $6 is a lot for an eight pack of sparkling water. I don't know if it was cheaper or more expensive when I got it on Amazon, cause I got these in like 20 packs or something, but I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions that I didn't cover, be sure to drop them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them based on my experience with these so far. If you want to see more reviews like this, health and fitness challenges, that type of thing, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you guys and I will see you in our next video. Bye! Okay. Okay, I can't stop burping now because of the sparkling water. That's what you get when you drink seven sparkling waters. <laughs>